Caddis Maximus here. Not sure if this is an issue with the SDS Max. This is the 10 millimeter SDS versus SDS Plus. This is the modern design. This is known as the secure drive system. Should be known that Hilti in 1967 invented the electro pneumatic rotary hammer. And arguably Bosch is who quote unquote mastered them. The only thing you have to be careful of is if you run into old bits, you may see, oh, they're SDS bits. This particular old Hilti bit is an American-made bit. You don't actually see a ton of American-made Hilti stuff. 10 millimeter shank, but notice that it does not have the little drive slots. SDS Max, these are 10 millimeter. SDS Max is 19 millimeter, and it has the same two retention slots, but then it has two on one side and one of these drive slots on the other. And so the only thing you have to remember is that these old bits won't fit in new rotary hammers because, of course, it doesn't have these slots. But wisely enough, when they did, and I believe Bosch as you introduced this SDS Plus, wisely made it so that at least when you get newer bits off the shelf, you can use them with old rotary hammers such as like this old Milwaukee Falcon here. This Milwaukee Falcon can, of course except either it's really old it doesn't even have the kind of got a muscle it here uh the push in where it automatically locks you have to actually pull the collar get it kind of lined up release it whoop come on now the truck is actually quite deep on this milwaukee i have to really shove the bit all the way in and so this bit, of course, will work in this old Milwaukee because it is a ball drive. If you can get it in the right spot. Uh, uncooperative old rotary hammers. And you can use the new bit. In this old rotary hammer. God. I'm glad they use push chucks because like on this newer DeWalt here and what we'll find is if we try to take the Hilti bit, it doesn't matter. The DeWalt has a push lock chuck, but this bit won't fit in because of course it's hitting these drive splines. And the whole reason that they came up with these drive splines is really on small quarter inch bits, this is just fine. but. As it's hammering, the actual retention ball bearings are what is giving the twisting force, actually driving the bit itself, and that ends up just pounding out the ball bearings, making so the chuck mechanisms either lock up or drop bits, and just wears them out. So Bosch's bright idea, and it was a bright idea, is how about we add a couple of really deep splines so that the splines are what's taking the load of driving the bit forward, and then the retention balls, all they have to do is just keep the bit from falling out and it ends up making the chucks last a lot longer. And of course, on modern rotary hammers, you don't have to pull the chuck back and just take the bit and put it in there. And I should mention, you know, rotary hammers is what you should always be drilling holes with. I am not a big, I own a couple of hammer drills, but those things are hammer drills are noisy and shake your hands. Rotary hammers. Hammer drills can be small, I guess that's their advantage, but rotary hammers, of course, are literally like mini jackhammers, which also twist a bit at the same time. There's actually a piston and a striker, and that's why they drill holes so much more effectively than hammer drills, because hammer drills have dog teeth that are kind of bumping up against, like so, uh, kind of a clutch mechanism, and... It basically generates vibration, and you're trying to vibrate through. Or with electro-pneumatic rotary hammers, they have a whole mechanism in there where it's a tube with a little counterweight, free-floating counterweight. So the tube goes forward and flicks the counterweight into the back of the bit, giving it a very sharp percussive blow so that the carbide actually, it's like, you know, just like hitting the back of it with a regular hammer 
gives it a percussive blow, shattering some of the material, and then the twisting of the bit kind of clears the material away and pulls it out of the hole. But it's actually the percussive blows and the carbide tips that are breaking apart the masonry or other cementitious material that you're trying to drill through. Anyway, so this is a little primer about SDS versus SDS Plus. And basically, you'll have no problem. The only thing I'd recommend is staying away from buying old SDS bits unless you happen to have some old rotary hammer around that you know will use them. Otherwise, you just run into too many situations where you get these old SDS bits and uh, you can't use them with your new tool. I mean, that's the way it works. They designed the accessories to be backward compatible so that you can use modern bits with your old tool until your old tool wears out. But if you get a newer, more modern tool, I mean, SDS Plus has been around for 20 years. Um, but a lot of times, you know, rotary hammer bits, you know, there's a lot of like construction supplies and stuff, which will have old bits and you'll just make that mistake and won't be able to use the bit. And you'll be running down the Home Depot or something to get yourself an SDS Plus. So that's the little primer. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.